Hi, my name is Hannah Dockery with Repair International and I'm so excited to be here with you talking about the five pillars of discipleship. So let's jump right into day one. Now Matthew 28, 19 says, Go therefore into all the world, into all nations, and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But so often our question is what, is, what does it mean to actually make a disciple? What does it mean to disciple others? And this is something that we really have battled back and forth within the church for thousands of years of what does it mean to make disciples? Well, let's talk about how Jesus discipled. He is the perfect picture of making disciples because he did it so well and he's the one who called us to do this. So we have to look at Jesus's way of discipleship. And there's five key things I want to talk about on this first day. The first thing is prayer. Discipleship has to begin with prayer. You have to pray together. You have to pray for that person. You have to pray with them. You have to pray about them. We have to constantly be in prayer. And Jesus modeled this over and over again in scripture. The second thing is teaching. We do have to teach. This is a part of discipleship, teaching them about the scripture and about his word and about who he is and about life. The third thing is modeling. He showed disciples how to live. He, they walked with him. They did things with him. A great teacher in our world today will tell you they start with modeling. So we have to model the things we're actually teaching. The fourth thing is friendship. We have to be friends with these people. We have to make sure that they feel like they're a part of our life and we're a part of theirs. And these, this next one, there's actually two sub points in this, but it goes together. It's doing the work and stretching their faith. So it's having them go do things and having them actually with their own hands pray for people, with their own hands discipling someone else. We have to stretch one another by doing the work the Lord has called us to do. So these tools that Jesus used showed us how to make disciples. If we follow these tools and if we do things just how Jesus did them, then discipleship should just be a part of our daily life. Often we treat others as a project, but people are not a project, they're people. People just wanna feel loved and Jesus did that so well. We're gonna be talking through the next five days about the five pillars, or we call them cups at Prepare International, because often we have coffee with one another and that's how we disciple. So we're gonna use cups as our picture, but I wanna pray over us as we begin this, this, this study together. Lord, I just thank you for this. I pray that as we study these five cups or pillars of discipleship, that we would become more and more like you and we would disciple people not to look like us, but to look like you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.